This park is extremely unique. There really is nothing like it in the entire country. As construction continues on Esther Simplot Park, old boats and cars sit at the bottom of the new ponds. We've got this, this great feature here. Is there an opportunity that we can collaborate with uh, our search and rescue folks and create a, an opportunity that they could use the pond for training. In a partnership between Boise Parks and Rec and the Boise Fire Department, search and rescue dive teams will use these cars to train underwater in a safe and realistic environment. We have emptied all the hazardous materials out of it. It's very safe. It's not going to hurt the pond or or the water. Um, they'll be sunk and anchored to the to the bottom of the pond. Right now we don't have a, a great place for our firefighters to train. We can drive all the way to Lucky Peak uh, is about the only place that we can do it. So this gives us a place right here in town uh, that our divers can train at. Esther Simplot Park is being built along the Boise River just north of Quinn's Pond. Crews say the new ponds are filling up at about a foot of water a day. So soon these cars will be submerged. And this summer, the pond should be ready for swimming, fishing, and even public scuba diving. Before the pond fills up, what kind of features can we put uh, at the bottom of the pond that would, uh, that would be of benefit to our dive team and also would create another recreational opportunity for uh, the folks in our community that enjoy the sport of diving and would come out here and will utilize this for that, for that purpose as well. The project is creating an important training area for first responders. One of our firefighters a few years ago died in the line of duty while uh, doing a dive rescue. These scenarios and these uh, obstacles are, are really going to help our firefighters uh, not only rescue others, but, but be safe and train in a safe manner. Jillian Garrigues, six on your side.